Hi everyone, and welcome to another Autodesk screencast video. My name is Zong Tong and we build products. Our screencast today will cover Revit 2017 and the Visibility Graphics dialog box. I have the Revit file open up in Revit 2017. In the View tab of the ribbon, in the Graphics panel, the command for Visibility Graphics is there. There is a keyboard shortcut, it is VG, it's also VV, but you can change this. When I select this command, it'll open up the Visibility Graphics dialog box. And this controls what you see and what you don't see, and how you see the information in this particular view. This window will control how everything appears and looks for every single view, so it could be unique and different. Uh, right off the bat, the way this is set up is you have Model Category tab, Annotation Categories tab, tab, Analytical Model Categories tab, Imported Categories tab, and Filters tab. If you have linked Revit files, you'll have a linked Revit uh, tab as well. In the Models Category tab, this basically says these are all the 3D model content, and I can see it because it's checked by default. If I uncheck something, let's say for example, I uncheck furniture, and I click apply and OK, you'll notice that all the furniture has disappeared. If I open up that dialog box again and turn furniture back on by putting a check mark, you'll see the data. Each category, depending on the object that you're working with and category that you're working with, you may be able to expand with this little plus symbol. And in here, there are some sub-features, for example, hidden lines, uh, ivory porcelain, so on and so forth. And this will change depending upon the category that you're looking at. For example, doors has elevation swing, framing mullion, uh, mullion glass, and so you can actually change any one of the subcategories and the way they appear as well. In the next column you have projection and surface, lines, patterns, and transparency. What it's telling you here is that any lines that you see in projection or surface can be altered. So again, for example, if it's a white cell, I can click inside and change its weight. You have 1 through 16. The higher the number, the stronger the weight. You have a color, so you can pick any color you want. You can also pick custom here as well. You can also go to Pantone. So let's pick, say, this color for now. You can also specify the pattern that you want to use. And if I just do that, and I hit Apply, and I hit OK, you now change the appearance of that category of objects. Let's go back to the window again. We can also click under Pattern for Furniture. You can change it to a different color, change it to a different pattern. Click OK, click OK, and now you'll see it change. Let's head back. You also can set up transparency as well. So you can say 0 to 100%, meaning completely transparent. And let's say I do something like uh, 25%. Hit OK hit OK, and now it's much lighter. And depending on, here's a good example, uh, depending on what is behind, you may be able to see less or more of depending on the transparency value. Let's head back to that window again. And you'll also have a section called Cut. Lines that are in cut and patterns that are in cut. What this means is that if the physical object is cut by the cut plane, then you can make adjustments to it if the cells are white. If the cells are gray like this, you cannot make any changes. So by default, furniture is a category that you cannot cut with a section cut plane. Uh, for example, if you're doing a wall section command, or a detail section command, or a building section command. You can, however, cut furniture using the section box in 3D. Then you also have halftone, and if you click this, and hit apply, everything will be much lighter. The amount of how light things appear is really based upon the Manage tab, additional settings, halftone underlay. The default is 50%, so the higher the value, the darker it is, the lighter the value, the, the lower the value, the lighter it is. 
you can also specify an override for the weight and the pattern itself. And then lastly, you have detail level. So you can force this particular view for all the furniture to either come in coarse, medium, or fine. Hit apply, hit OK, and those changes will take effect immediately. Now remember, this visibility graphics dialog box applies to all views, and each one, each window that you work with for each view controls independently of each one. You also have the annotation categories tab that controls the visibility and the appearance of any annotations tags, text, leaders, dimensions, things like that. So you can control this over here as well. You also have analytical model categories. So if you're doing a creating a structural model, a, an analytical model is created by default and you can adjust the settings as well here. If you have anything that's imported like a CAD file, then you can also adjust any overrides of those objects. And then filters allows you to tell the software to make things look and appear a certain way based upon a filtering condition. For example, walls to be colored if they are one hour rated, they're a certain color. If they're 30 minute rating, they're a different color. And that's it. That's very, very quick um, uh, screencast video on the visibility graphics dialog box. Thank you very much for watching.